Hey guys, what's up? Um, rocking my Incipio Feather, loving it so far, loving it. Alright, and today we have an app review to do, mm, thank you. Today we have an app review to do for you guys on Aim for the Brain. Um, there's also a Aim for the Brain light for 99 cents if you're not uh, fully devastated to devastated, uh, dedicated to pay the $2 for the Aim for the Brain full, you can go ahead and test drive the light version for a dollar or 99 cents, but obviously you will be lacking a lot of the add-ons that the full version has. So once again, the Aim for the Brain is $2 or $1 and 99 cents. Alright, before I go ahead and start this video, I just want to say the developers of this application were extremely, extremely nice. Um, they hooked me up with, I don't even remember, it was, I, I think it might have been even over 10 promo codes for this application and for Aim for the Brain Light. I think they gave me 5 for each. Um, but I encountered when I went to go, um, what do I want to say? I, when I went to go redeem one of the uh, light versions, so I can throw that in on this review that I'm going to do right now, I realized that the code has expired. I always thought that uh, App Store apps, the at least the promotional codes from them, I thought that they never expired. Obviously, now I learned my lesson um, that they do expire. So the only one I have for you guys is the full A for the brain um, from one of the promo codes that they did give me. So I do apologize, guys. This would have been a big, big giveaway of, I believe, it would have been eight promo codes for you guys for these two applications that the developers were nice enough to hook me up with to give you guys. Um, but I just want to apologize to you guys for me for waiting too long. I had to get other reviews out to you guys before that one that I had gotten codes for. But now, from, from now on in the future, when I get extra promo codes or applications, I'll put those um, I'll put those videos ahead of other ones that um, need to get done because they have a giveaway in them. So maybe I'll talk to the developer of this application when I send them this video. Um, maybe him or her, if they're nice enough to hook us up with some more promo codes because we did not use the other ones um, for giveaway. Maybe I'll be able to get you guys another giveaway, hopefully. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this. Aim for the brain. Right there, there are... I'm assuming some of the developers, I'm guessing. Um, down here you have loading, sorry about that, out of focus. You have loading, as soon as that loading goes away, the screen stays. But to get rid of it, simply tap, you'll go back, um, you'll go on, excuse me. It opens up with this screen, aim for the brain, the zombie attack, you guys see there, the zombie whacking game. Uh, it's a cool little catchphrase they throw in there, very nice. You have a quick little easy, easy, na easy to navigate menu. You have play game, quick play, options, scoreboard, help, and info. Play game will obviously take you into the options to play game, which I'll get to in a minute. Let's go ahead and go back right down there. Quick play will take you directly into a game. What options allows you to do? Options allows you to turn on the sound effects or off, turn the music on or off, turn the gore on or off, which is the blood and screaming and everything like that. Let's go ahead and go back. If you want, you can go ahead and into scoreboard, which we're not going to go into there because it does have the local scoreboard. And recently added, I believe just today, I just updated it before I did this review frame for the brain, a uh, global scoreboard. So you guys can also check that out. I believe since I just added it, uh, my name's up there number one for the global scoreboard on easy. So that's pretty cool right there. I'm just not going to go into that because it does have my location. Um, then help, if you go into help, it will bring you to this page, which will tell you how to play. It'll tell you tap. Let me see if I can actually zoom in. It'll say tap, yeah, perfect. <laughs> it says tap zombies in the head to smash their brains and score points. Distant zombies are worth more points. Whacking many zombies in a row builds up your score multiplier. Letting a zombie escape or hitting a civilian will take away your multiplier. Avoid hitting the glowing civilian. So you have that civilian and that civilian, a guy and a girl, uh, or your game will end. The, the civilian meter shows how many casualties you have left before the game is over. So if you run out of casualties, game over, you have to start from the beginning. It tells you right here, also, the difficulty determines the stage time, game speed, max multiplayer, and max civilian casualties. Aim for the brain and set your own records for each stage and difficulty or choose quick play for when you need a quick zombie whacking fix. After completing a level, submit your high score to the global leaderboards by choosing submit score. Very simple um, little help section right there. Alright, then if you want to go into info, it will just list you um, about the developers and more. So let's go ahead, let's go into play game. Play game will give you their three different uh, modes that you can choose from, which also contain inside themselves three different difficulties. Um, so that's pretty cool. You have first you have the cemetery. Let's see if I can zoom out. The cemetery, the alleyway, or the hospital. You can choose from either one of those. 
Um, I'm probably, uh, I'll do the cemetery for you, and then I'll just quickly show you the other three. Down here, you can do some hard, easy, or normal. I'm gonna go down to normal, because that, uh, easy, because that's gonna be the quickest. So I clicked on cemetery, and I'm just gonna go into play. You guys see that very fast loading time brings you right here, get ready to aim for the brain. Very simply, attack the zombies by shooting them. Um, the whole point is, you want to try to shoot them in the head. Oh, shot a civilian. You guys see the civilians pop up there, they start to glow. Uh, so that's a little deterrent not to shoot them. The whole point, like I said, is to shoot the zombies in the head. If you don't shoot them in the head, it's not the bad, worst thing in the world. Um, they just don't give you as many points as you would if you were to get a headshot on one of these zombies. Um, I believe it just gives you 50 points in this easy mode. Uh, if you just shoot them in the body somewhere or anything like that. Just simply tap, as you guys can see I'm doing, tap on the screen to attack or shoot the zombies in the head. Smash their brains, as the game says. Oh, shot another civilian. You guys can see there, as I'm shooting my, the civilians, the civilian count in the bottom left-hand corner is going down. Also, as you guys can see in the top left-hand corner, I believe, it shows you the score, and right next to that, in the center, it lists your time for you, um, which counts down. Oh, one more civilian left. Let's try to shoot one. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot one, actually. Um, I had 10 seconds left, uh, but it's game over. I shot all my civilians. I'm not going to go ahead and try again. Um, quick play, really quickly, will take you right into a random game. Right here is the alleyway. Same, same dealio. Go ahead and pause. You can quit it. Um, let me just show you guys quickly the hospital, and I'll head out. Here's the little hospital scene. Same thing goes right there. Try to get the most headshots as you can. Just keep shooting if you want. Just hope for the best, but don't shoot any civilians. Um, guys, this game definitely has some replay value. Uh, playing with all the different difficulty levels and playing on each different level. Um, and trying to beat each difficulty level on each level. There are 20 different unique zombies, enemies in that game. So it does give you a little bit more of a difference while going on to each level. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, that's basically all I got for you guys. Aim for the brain and uh, is 2 dollars and aim for the brain. Uh, light, which is 99 cents. I'm going to try and talk to the developers, see if they can hook us up with some more promo codes because we weren't able to use the last ones for a giveaway. Um, let's go ahead and get that off here for now. I will bring it back um, later because I just need to clear up space to get more apps on here. Um, let's go ahead and rate it 5 stars. It's a pretty fun application, guys. Definitely check that application out. Aim for the brain. Catch you guys later. Peace.